Alright, so you're in Windows PowerShell and you want to do stuff with the registry. How do you do that? It's actually really simple. It's as simple as working with files and folders in PowerShell. If you want to create a new registry key, you start with the commandlet new item uh, and you give it a path to that key. Now the cool thing about PowerShell is that it can work natively with the Windows registry and all you have to do is use this notation to identify that you want to work with a registry hive so HKCU points to HKEY current user uh, followed by a colon and then a backslash with the key name so let's go ahead and run that code or let me let me just show you that it's not in there first it's empty okay no no tricks up the sleeve I'm gonna run this code so it runs let's open up our registry here refresh and now we have potato here there's a potato in my registry uh, but there's there's nothing in this key we want to be able to add stuff in there that's that's really um, uh, the the bulk of working in the registry is when you look at these keys they have uh, properties and, and other things in there so right now we have an empty potato let's go ahead and add some stuff in there I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out so how do we add uh, properties well you use new item property and we give it the same path to that hive and the key we have to give it a name a value and uh, type and in this case I want the type to be a string because those are easy to work with my values one two three four five so let's run this and it appears to work let's go back here refresh now we have spud and we have one two three four five in there so that was simple enough to add a property now what if you wanted to just change that property you can't use new property again because it'll error out it'll say that we already have something in there well there's a commandlet called set item property and much in the same way you would sit, give it a path to the key and then you would give it the name of the property that you want to change and the new value so in this case we're going to change it to 54321 so let's run that and go back to our registry refresh and now spud is 54321 okay so let's come back over here now for the purposes of the example following this one I'm going to just run this code to add a second property in there. So when we do this, so we have spud and spud. Spuds is 67890. We're going to come back over here. Now let's say that you just wanted to list all of the properties inside of a key. Well, you would just use the get item command. And, you know, this is really simple the way that it works natively in there. All you have to do is give it a path, give it the right hive. I want it from that key let's run it and we get our name here and the properties in that name we have spud and spuds so that was pretty simple if we want to just list all the stuff in there um, but let's say we wanted to pull the value from one of those properties say we need to to grab the value um, well you can use get item property give it the path and give it the name and it'll pull back this object now everything in PowerShell is an object so if you want to just get the value you have to do a little bit more um, uh, refining so let me let me show you if you know about get member if you pipeline stuff to get member it'll give you more information about what you can do with that so we have all these note properties in here and you'll see that one of the note properties is our name and um, the definition is the value that it contains so let's go ahead we want to select that object spud and when we run it it brings back just the value in there so that's a way to pull a value from a property um, so I don't really want to keep this in my registry I don't know how many people have potatoes in their registry so I don't really want to leave that in there people are gonna think I'm weird if they're not already catching on to that already so we're gonna go ahead and remove the item property spud so that's that's how you can remove 
one of the properties. We're just getting rid of one of them. I'm going to go ahead and run that. We're going to come back up here, refresh, and now we only have spuds in there. Well, you don't have to delete everything one by one. You can just delete the entire key. So we are finishing our cycle here. We did new item to create the key. Now we use remove item to delete that same key. So when I run this, I come back up here, refresh, no more potato. All right. So that's it. That's that's um, all the really commands to work with the registry in PowerShell. And as you can see, I mean, I did a lot of stuff there really quick. Um, so get at it. Have fun. Thanks for watching.